What's going on guys, King Trats here back into the video on the channel and today is actually the first time ever that I am trying Huddle House. If you're not familiar with Huddle House, it's very similar to Waffle House. It started in Atlanta and it was founded in 1964. Um, they serve the same kind of stuff that a Waffle House does, which I think a lot more people are familiar with. But they do waffles all day breakfast. They have some dinner items like burgers and stuff. But we focused on breakfast today because it's actually noon. So I wanted to do a breakfast meal. It's the first time I've never even had an inkling to try it, but I decided to try it, so that is what we are doing today. So if you're digging the content, you want to see more breakfast, more breakfast stuff. We don't really do a lot of breakfast. We've tried some breakfast things fast food-wise, but not chain restaurants. Um, so if you do, like, subscribe, thumbs up, you know, all that cringy YouTube stuff, you know the vibe, that is how we do on the channel. But um, I don't even know where to start. I have never had Huddle House, and I know some people probably, like, how could you not have Huddle House? Like, I'm from New Jersey. We have a lot of diners in this area, so if I'm looking for food that's breakfast oriented and I'm going to go sit down and have a meal, most people here go to diners. This Huddle House actually just got put here, um, I want to say one or two years ago. It hasn't been here that long, that much I can tell you, but let's start with, I don't want to do the waffle first. You know what we're going to, mm, I guess we can start with their big breakfast. It's the most basic thing that we do have. Uh, their breakfast uh, comes with the... Bacon and eggs, you have the option of turkey sausage, regular sausage, um, or, no, they're just the bacon. And as well as you get a biscuit um, with gravy. They didn't give me any gravy. I just realized that. I didn't get any gravy. Gosh darn it. I really wanted to try the gravy. And they do have the option of grits. Um, you can get cheese in your grits. You never had grits before. A lot of people ask what grits are. Grits are grits. There's no thing that you can explain other than that. So let's try some grits. I want to see what the grits is hitting for. They do seem thick. And that's cool. Anybody who does savory grits is a friend of mine. Uh, I got cheese and butter in mine. If you put sugar in your grits, I love you, but you are a weirdo. Cheesy. Thick. A little blend. I feel like no salt in here. You can really taste that. I'm very particular about my grits. Texturally. They're decent. I don't really have an issue with them. It's just need a little more... A little more soul to them, but I can respect them. A respectable grit. I will eat the grits. Oh, drink. Does anything hit when you get breakfast items? Are you an OJ person or are you like me and you get, can you see in there? Hell no, you can't see in there. It's chocolate milk. I don't know why, but chocolate milk, this is like a stirred it chocolate milk. This isn't from the, you know, the container. This one always hits, hold on. That's refreshing. Mm. And as I was drinking it, I could see like the, the the syrup on the bottom, like somebody stirred it. Mm. I didn't, look, I didn't drink three quarters of this already. I need one more sip though. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, I'm a little upset they didn't give my gravy. So in reality, I have biscuits twice because I have a biscuit, egg and cheese sandwich. And then I have a biscuit, scrambled eggs and bacon. I'll just try the eggs real quick, but I just want to rather eat the sandwich because I did get scrambled and on the eggs I know these eggs shouldn't just taste basic. I'm not expecting a lot from this Yeah, it's a basic scrambled egg. No issue with that. Stew. Bacon's a little soggy for my liking, um, but again, that's more of a preference thing So I like mine cooked like hard, you know what I'm saying? When I say like, well done um, I didn't specify that, so not necessarily my fault. Biscuit. Ooh, that's very KFC. Ooh, ooh. Mm -mm. That's that's Popeyes dry. Not crazy. Um. Yeah, the grits are decent. I mean, bacon and eggs can't really go wrong. Uh, the biscuit needs some honey. Man, give me no honey. Come on, man. Esta, y'all gave me nothing to work with here, bro. They gave me one, one uh, syrup packet, which I need for the waffle. I can't even do nothing with that. It is what it is. Let's go straight to this biscuit. The biscuit, egg, and cheese sandwich. I got it over medium. The cheese is kind of runny right now, but I don't have an issue with that. But that is the biscuit from Huddle House. Um, contents may have shifted upon travel. I feel like this needs some ketchup, but we're going to do first bite without it. Mm. 
Again, that biscuit is so dry, bro. Ooh. God damn, bro. Yeah, um. That's super. I feel like I'm choking on the damn thing. Hmm. That'll. They didn't put choking hazard on that. Um. That's some no go. There's nothing else to say about that one. This this might be a quick video. I'm not gonna lie. Because the amount of dry. Sheesh. Yeah, that that wasn't the best. I guess we can move on to the breakfast wrap. Uh, this is a new thing that they have. It comes with home fries, eggs, uh, sausage gravy supposedly in here. I don't really, is it in here? And cheese. I don't know, man. I, I, they're, they're really disappointing me right now, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get right into it. I don't know if they put sausage gravy in here. Let me try to save this with some ketchup. I feel like they, didn't, they had sausage gravy and it probably like didn't have any ready. And they were just like, ah, fuck it. Other than that, there's definitely sausage in here. It's okay. You know, again, there's really like, it's hard to describe. Everything just seems like it's missing ingredients and making it dry. And I'm trying to save this with the ketchup. But it says it comes with sausage gravy. There's no sausage gravy. There's no gravy on the burger. And the biscuit is, is like the driest biscuit ever. So some of this stuff is getting hard to swallow, which is weird. I usually don't have problems like that. But... I'm not lying. Um, I've had Waffle House. This Waffle House is like a thousand times better than this. That's really just boring, bro. But we're gonna power through. Again, the eggs are good, but everything's a hard chew because there's like potatoes and stuff, and it just gets hard to swallow. And I feel like the gravy would have really helped. But again, I didn't get it. It is what it is. We're moving on. Okay, next, the Huddle House blueberry muffin bites, which are like fried pieces of muffin. I love blueberry muffins, but will it be dry as hell because it's supposed to come with icing? There's no icing. See the recurring theme here? I swear, I'm gonna throw this across the room. You know what makes this good? Icing. It's pretty flavorful, but again, it's dry. I don't want to dope into my syrup supplies, bro. I'm going to get syrup from my fridge, bro. I can't do this. Okay, let's try this again with some syrup. We got some syrup. Some sugar-free syrup. I just, I need something on here. It's supposed to come with icing again, man. It's just, it's disappointing. Much better. I feel like icing would go better with a muffin. But syrup's my bad thing. Tastes like a blueberry pancake at this point. Fried little crunch to it. You wanna go back to everything with syrup? <laughs> Man. Alright. Let's try this again. Much better. It's not as dry. Still a little dry. But better. You get the idea. Uh, everything here. There's not a ton of flavor again. I'm comparing it to diners, which is a tough crowd, but it's decent. Let's try the waffle. It's the last thing. Syrup. I'm going to use the regular syrup for this one. I believe they did put butter on this. I can see it's kind of got like that distortion. Um, again, the waffle for me, I like a waffle a little more cooked to it, but I like the little HH in there. That's pretty dope. Okay, let's cut this bad boy up. I swear, 
sometimes people will, like make fun of me because they're like, oh, you cut so weird. Have you tried to cut something backwards on camera? Or like some, sometimes you do stuff, you hold the fork like, why are you holding the fork like that? Because it's on camera. I don't know that. That was Alexa, bro. You heard that? Even she was like, I don't know. All right, but let's cut this thing. You ever cut something backwards like this? I guess if you have kids, you probably have. But you don't look for pretty. You're just trying to get it in, in to feed. You know what I'm saying? And that's the idea. Anyway, let's get this waffle right here. Got a lot of syrup on this one. It's decent. It's undercooked for me. I would have definitely cooked it, cooked it more. There is butter. It's right in the middle. Definitely needs more syrup. I am an over syruper when it comes to my waffles. I am not going to sit here and lie to you. That's why I did bring the sugar-free syrup so I can use a lot more of it and not feel guilty after eating it. So let's try one more with the proper amounts of syrup. I don't know how y'all eat pancakes with barely any syrup on them. You know I know somebody eats pancakes with no syrup. That That's different. You can, like God bless you, but I can't do that. Over here. A little waffle. There it is. Thank you. Man. That's the right amount. That's what you need. Damn near refreshing. Now we can eat. Now we can eat. Hold on. Much better. With a lot of syrup on it. Does this syrup have butter flavoring? Probably not. Sugar free, isn't it? No. Doesn't. The butter was already melted by the time I opened it out of the package. I wanted to eat it there, but they had a lot of that like country music. I couldn't do you couldn't hear wouldn't hear nothing. So we gotta take it home. No biggie. But in overall, um Hot House is pretty mid. I'm just being completely honest. Some of the items aren't bad. It was disappointing to not get the gravy. Um, the the bites, the muffin bites, were good. Would have been better with icing, but they are good. I think they would be like really good with icing. Um, the best things I've had here were the waffle and the grits. The biscuits are the driest biscuits. I mean, Chick-fil-A's biscuits do do on these. Then again, this sandwich is only like three fifty, something like that. Um, I think Chick-fil-A's breakfast sandwich is like five bucks. So you definitely get what you pay for in this category. Um, Price-wise, it's it's right around what you would pay at a diner. Uh, the waffle was like six dollars. Um, the breakfast meal, I believe, was like eleven dollars or something like that. So it's right around like cheap diner food to me. Um, it's nothing to write home about, but if you want like a decent breakfast, it's not bad. Uh, I guess that kind of is usually how Huddle House Waffle House kind of feels. Um, you don't really go to Waffle House, in my opinion. And when I had it, I've had Waffle House probably three or four times in my life. You don't really go there looking for like this crazy delicious meal. In my opinion, I think it's just like you get decent food no matter what time of day you can get yourself a waffle. And this place isn't open 24 hours a day. I think it's open until like 10.30, but it has the same kind of vibe. It just feels like it doesn't belong in New Jersey. Um, it definitely, for me, is more of like a Southern thing where you can get stuff like this. But I do like the fact you can get grits. I do love me some grits. I do love me some grits. Those things definitely need a little salt and pepper, though. A little, a little bit. I need that. But... Other than that, that, that's my verdict. Um, out of 10, I'd probably give it like a 5.5. It, it's mid. It's just, it's okay. Um, I'm from New Jersey. A little tough on that. I would rather go to a diner. Uh, the chocolate milk, I would get like 20 of those though. Because that's like hand. Yeah, we love that. But that's going to be the end of the video. I want to do a breakfast video. I've never had a huddle house. So it looked good and we went for it. Um, kind of swung and missed a little bit. You can see by all the food still here that I wasn't the biggest fan of it. But that's why we do this. We make content. We try things. And sometimes they don't land as good as you think they would. So that is the end, and we will be back tomorrow. More content, and I love y'all the hand signs. They made it to YouTube.